Okay. Yeah, so we just need to make two bios. What the hell? Is this our first pulsar quartz meter? I think it is. And it's heading right for us. Well, almost right for us. Close enough to where we're going inside. <laughs> Yowzers. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, uh, we're going to go set up our fertilizer uh, auto production facility, our, our production chain. Uh, let's see. But before we do that, uh, we had a couple of things unlock. We got the water filter, which we're going to make first. And we also uh, had the tier one tree spreader unlock, which we're going to also do. Okay, so um, let's get the water filter first. That's a huge milestone. And so we're going to need all of those items. Uh, do I have any more bio in here? I don't. We do have some supers. Let's put that over here. I'm starting, I'm starting to make rods, you know, for the excess super to save room for us. Um, all right, so we're going to need to make two bios. Um, we'll need a cloth. A silicon and an aluminum looks like. Okay, yeah, so we just need to make two bios. What the hell? Is this our first pulsar quartz meter? I think it is. And it's heading right for us. Well, almost right for us. Close enough to where we're going inside. <laughs> Yowzers. All right, cool. Our first Pulsar Quartz Meteor. Um, I wonder if there's a time limit on... Oh, here we go. Look at that. Beautiful. That's enough for a whole nother... Uh, a fusion generator. Except for... Uh, there we go. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, game. Appreciate that. That was amazing. All right. For now, though, uh, we still have lots of power, so we won't worry about this until a little bit later. Cool. Well, uh, let's save the game <laughs> before we... I haven't had any crashes in the last couple episodes. You know, knock on wood, of course. Uh, no, I'm not actually superstitious. I don't believe that shit. But anyway, <laughs> I'll do it anyway, uh, just for the hell of it. Um, yeah, so so we've actually been crash free, you know, locking the game in for for my machine anyways at, at at 60 frames per second, so that's good. But still not a bad idea to save anyway. Okay, so what were we doing? Uh, water filters. We need to go make a couple of bioplastic for that. Um, do I have some up here already? That's all I do. Look at that. Okay, this is great, man really actually a significant milestone in the, in the game to get this because now again we can drink anywhere as long as there's water around of course okay cool uh, let me show you too and hey we'll take a drink while we're over there we're still going to follow the rule to keep a water bottle in our inventory just in case we do happen to be in an area with no water uh, but there's not a whole lot of places where water isn't nearby but there are a few watch this <laughs> I love it. Okay, so anyway, this is uh, what I did to, um, you know, set up the, um, what's it, the bacteria. Yeah, the bacteria production chain. Um, just made it neater than it was before, so everything's not all just kind of clumped together. And uh, you are well on your way to making that. We're going to actually grab that batch and just take it back with us. So, very fun, man. Oh, look at that. We got our Tier 2 optimizer. Fan freaking tastic. Okay, we'll use that in conjunction with our tree spreaders, and that's going to give us a huge O2 and uh, plant boost. Um, but I want to get the 
I'm trying to think. Do I, um, yeah, you know what? Let's get our, our fertilizer production set up first. Here's the thing, you know, I, we're not in a hurry. We'll get to we'll get to the TI index when we get to it because uh, we're just really having, you know, a stop and take the time to smell the flowers experience with season two because I rushed season one so much. So, you know, we're just not in a hurry for that. We'll get to it when we get to it. We're doing fine, too, by the way. Um, just overall. Okay, so anyway, let's see. I have placed inside of here. I, I put a, a uh, locker down called staging, and it has all of the stuff in it that we need to make a tier two algae generator, a tier two ore extractor, and a um, and an auto crafter. Oh, and and sorry, and six tier two food processors. Which I, I think those unlocked in the last episode, I think. Well, if they didn't, it's unlocked now. <laughs> so we have it. And of course, you know, this, this makes uh, the food grow faster. So the idea is if we put six of these down, um, it'll produce uh, the ability to make three fertilizers per production cycle because it takes two eggplant for that. And I may, uh, I may replace these with tier twos eventually. It's just that we have such a surplus of food right now, I'm not too worried about it. And once we have the ability to do outdoor farms, which is still a little ways off, then these become obsolete anyways. They, they really do. Uh, we just don't need them at that point. Uh, let's pick one of you right now and just eat it to top off our food. We're going to drop this bacteria off up here. So we already have a nice little batch of bacteria. Now, the other thing I'm planning on doing is I'm going to set an auto crafter right here and we're going to have it auto craft um, mutagen for us. It's not going to be fully automated because, you know, we'll still have to haul in the sulfur. But we have so much sulfur, by the way, and we have to haul in the bacteria that would, you know, which comes from our other production plant until we get drones. And once we get drones, then all that stuff could be completely automated. Um, but. Do we want to maybe do that first before we leave? Yeah, why don't we? Why don't we? I, I've already moved the methane um, producer a little closer to the back of the building. So let's grab that. Let's grab this. Um, yeah, if we go... Oh, for Pete's sake. Uh, the methane gas producer is just right on the other side. Of this. In fact, you can kind of see it through the window there on the other side of that wall. So it's in range. I wish these auto crafters had a little bit more range to them than they do, but you know, it is what it is. Okay. I don't want that clipping into the other thing. Yeah, that's good. Okay. We want you to make a uh, mutagen. Huzzah. <laughs> Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. Okay. So yeah, this thing's just going to start making mutagen for us. Um, I do have gas in here that it can pull from, but when that runs out, if I could, yeah, well, uh, when it runs out, it should, re well, actually we can confirm that. Does it reach the gas thingy? Yes, it does. Okay, cool. So, so methane is fully automated for us. Sulfur and bacteria, we will have to haul in until we can get a drone to come in here and set that up. Now, the other thing we need to do, of course is we need to set up a, a bin for the mutagen. Um, so let's find three of these. And we'll put those over here. Uh, I think it's mutagen. There we go. All right, nice. It hasn't even used those sulfur yet. Uh, yeah, because it's sulfur, methane, and bacteria. Nice. It's probably... Yeah, let's just let it go through a whole nother cycle. Because it has a, should have enough stuff to do that. And then the, we'll let the third cycle just build up on it. So, oh, no, okay, it's done. It's probably out of methane. Let's just grab what we have so far, then and we'll put those in here. 
Yeah, so it used everything up there and it's just waiting for the gas extractor outside to fill up. Um. Okay. Yeah, see, that's that's kind of the downside to the tier ones is they have byproduct. Not that it's a bad thing that it's creating oxygen because we're actually going to need oxygen capsules for crafting purposes, not just for breathing purposes, uh, even when we finally do get breathing atmosphere. So it's not a bad thing that we're getting those. Um, but when we get the tier two gas extractor, then we'll be able to explicitly say, no, I only want you to do methane or I only want you to do nitrogen and whatnot. But we can't do that with the tier one. Okay. Um, let's remove the water filter from our pins. And I'm just trying to think if I want to set this up now. Oh, we need obsidian for these. Okay. Maybe what we'll do if I remember. Yeah, we've got all the stuff for the tree spreaders. Should we get those going first? No, let's not. We'll come back and do it later. Like I said, we're not in a hurry. This isn't a race. Okay, let's take a water. Actually, I guess we need that O2, don't we? <gasps> Excuse me. Um, And then do I have enough room? Okay, uh, let me think about this. I don't want to come back. And all of this water that's in here we need for crafting. What we'll do is we'll top off our food again and we'll put, yeah, we'll top off our water again. Sure, what the hell? We got an abundance of it. That way we still have our re requisite O2. If we do get in trouble, which we won't, but if we do, we can use one of these waters. Um,. Only problem with that is we're not going to be able to make water when we get over there. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Well, I might have to make two trips then. Let's just let's just go. We'll see. We'll see what we can do here. If I have to make two trips, I have to make two trips. All right. I'm excited, man. We're gonna set up our very first. Well, no, actually, I guess this will be our second production chain. The bacteria is the first one. And of course, it's very, very simple, but it is a production chain nonetheless. I define that as, you know, uh, taking multiple products and making it into a new product. It's, it's like a, a two link chain, but it's a chain. <laughs> oh, I was going to bring uh, another auto crafter down here uh, to start making super in this place, too, but uh, we can worry about that later. Let's do stop off in here though and just replenish our O2. When we get over to the waterfall, we're going to set down the ore extractor first and then we immediately need to pick up stuff to make a shed because I don't have anything over there for oxygen. I don't think. Do, wait, did we set a, sh a shed up over there? Maybe I did. I don't remember. We'll find out. We'll find out. We do actually, you know what? We do have a shed up here. Let's stop off on that just to top off the O2 once again. We're down to uh, minus 1.8 on the oxygen consumption with the filter. So uh, again, the lower that number gets, the longer our O2 lasts. have anything in there okay you know what let's um let's do a game save all right this is cool man we can get through here now it still uh doesn't look like it's completely clear yet but it will be but it doesn't matter because you know we have our jetpack anyway oh look at the waterfall uh, last time we were over here, this the water wasn't in yet. Now it is. Very cool. Of course, we did our first base here, um, uh, you know, in Season 1, and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous location. But if they didn't change anything about the start, 
the intense start settings it is a very hard place to do an intense start because there's just not a lot of food around. But maybe they did change that and made it a little bit better. Alright, so if we place the ore extractor right here, it should get sulfur. Haha, <laughs> look at that. It's a beautiful thing. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to gather up stuff to make a hut first let's see we need another iron actually we're going to need two silicon as well because I'll probably make a crafting station here just in case we need it to make um uh, oxygen. All right. Yeah, we need iron. Come on, iron. I know you're around. You're just being elusive. And one... Uh, well, we technically need two more pieces, but we need one more piece just to make the hut itself. There we go. Oh, inventory slow. Okay, that's okay. We'll come back for that. Now I'm just gonna set the hut down here temporarily for O2 replenishment. This isn't gonna, uh, oh shit, we need a titanium. It's not gonna be its per uh, permanent location. Here's a titanium. We need another iron for the uh, crafting station, and then we'll hold off on everything else until we put this in its permanent location. Just need one piece of iron, man. Um, I'm actually going to leave that there. I have found a couple uncommons since the last episode, and they have those back at the base. Okay, so we have uh, our O2 shack. Um, what we're going to do now is... Let's place the algae collector... Uh, here we go. Here. Right, okay. Um, I want to check something. I'm almost positive this is going to be too far away. Yeah, okay. So, if we put the... And we need to put probably put the base right about here. That's all for making the tier two food growers. Of course, I didn't bring any eggplant seed with me, so we're gonna have to go back for those anyways. Um, yeah, it's just the way it is. Okay, let's put the shack here. I don't want to put it really close to the algae collector because um, you know then it could stop the algae from. From growing. What if we put it I know it's kind of jank looking floating, but if this works, we'll uh, maybe I'll put a foundation under it just so it doesn't look Oh we got a message, okay. All right, let's place the... Hey, there's our 
trade space rocket. Okay, so I guess I just missed that. I thought that was going to be a, a microchip thing, but I guess not. Okay, I'm going to put you right here. You can access the ore extractor. And we have to wait for the algae to completely come in before it will show up. It has to completely mature. All right. And let's see. We might need to expand this. Because, you know, we need to get six food growers in here, but we also need storage, too. Let's see if we can make it work. And if we have to do two, we have to do two. Okay, that's as far that way as it goes. We can go back to about there. We can we can scooch these pretty close together. But still probably not enough to get a fourth one in there. Yeah. Um Okay, so that gives us our six food growers. Probably what makes the most sense, I guess, is here I was worried about bottled water and we can drink out of the lake. <laughs> I can't take them anywhere, man. Even though technically we're supposed to be carrying one with us, but yeah, it's what it is. Uh, is there room for this in here? There isn't. You know what we're going to do? We're going to build another shed and attach it here, and it'll just be a bit, a bit of a longer shed. That, that seems to make the most sense to me. Okay, yeah, so we're just still waiting for that to completely mature, and then the autocrafter should see it. Okay, let's go gather stuff for... You know what we do need to watch is our food, though. We can't stay here too much longer before we need to start heading back. Uh, maybe I will pick you up now. Okay, so yeah, let's go gather stuff to make an, another hut. Um, we don't need silicon. We just need two iron and one titanium, I believe. Okay, why won't you harvest? I don't know. I'm not going to mess with it. It's bugged. Okay, there's some iron. And then, we're, of course, we're going to need some iron for a storage bin as well. Okay, three iron. Yeah, that should be enough. Okay. Nothing's ever freaking easy, man. All right, here. We're going to go up. <coughs> Except for we probably don't have room to put the a ladder. Um, let's try it. I know I can rearrange. It's not that big of a deal, but... I need a cobalt. How about 
if we put the food growers up above, maybe with some windows too, so they get some sunlight. Then we'll have this down below, and we'll put storage down below. I like that idea. All right, is the algae in? Yes, okay. So make sure we can see that. We can. All right, we are ready to produce fertilizer. Now, what we are going to have to do, uh, I mean, we're going to have to come and babysit this thing anyways until we get drones. Um, but we are going to have to periodically come and purge the rest of the ore out of the, uh, out of this. It's too bad it doesn't also get aluminum because then we could do rods, but okay, let's do this. Fertilizer production. Uh, oh. Yeah, we got to do the eggplants first. My bad. My bad. Which we got to co come back for anyways. Okay, we're going to put the ladder right here in this corner. Okay, let's take all of these back down. I think what we'll do is we'll put three on this side. We don't have to make them quite so tight either. We'll put one here in the center and two on this side. Uh, yeah, one there and one there. There we go. Much better solution. And now we have room to put some storage chests down here. Um, okay. What we're going to do is we're going to find... Yeah, we're, we're really getting down on our food. We need to get going. We should be fine if we get going in the next 30 seconds or so. All right. So let's put this here. And we'll take that stuff back with us. Okay, so we just need to go home and get eggplant seeds. Let's do it. Top off our water. Any chance there's some food in this crate? No, but we... Oh, look at that. An osmium rod. Nice. We'll take it. Yeah, see, not a lot of food in, in this area. <laughs> There's another crate here. This is the last one we're going to check, and then we got to scoot. No food. Okay. Let's go. Look at that gorgeous fern, man. Beautiful. Since this is the noob area, there's still a good chance there's food in here. Nope, never mind. <laughs> oh, wow, that's new. Oh, cool. We got to keep moving, though. They've added more underwater vegetation. Oh, neat. I love it. It's a beautiful thing. Look, there's some coral. Oh, fantastic, Major Games. Fantastic. You guys are the best. I didn't know that was in the game. We have an O2 bottle, right? Food? Yes. Okay, good. Now we can relax just a, a tad. We still need we still need to go home, of course, but we found some food. 
Um, is there anything I want to do over here? Probably just... Yeah, let's... Let's, uh, put you and you... And you and you and you in there. And empty you out. Uh, I'm going to take the cobalt because that's the one thing we're still don't have a, f a full chest on back at the base. And we'll leave the rest of this stuff here. Okay, let's go. It's really neat to see how they've improved the old stuff too, you know? As well as seeing all of the brand new stuff. Do I have room? Um, I'm going to drop a magnesium because a zeolite is far more valuable than a magnesium. Yeah, so it's just so cool to see all that stuff. Let's fill up our cobalt bin. All right. And then now we have some surplus of that, which is fine. Throw the Zeos in there. Um, we'll definitely make use of those rockets here pretty soon. And... <laughs> Excuse me. Gesundheit. Okay. Uh, we'll put the rest of the cobalt in there. Osmium can go in here. That's really nice find, that osmium rod. supers and I think the rest of that stuff well we're going to take the three eggplant seeds with us and we need three more okay so that gives us a total of six of those okay good um, these flowers need to go in here always happy to have another lerma seed Fert can go in there. The bacteria could go in here. The sulfur can go in here. And we'll just put an extra one in there. The thingy will pull it, so we'll be fine. Good. We have uncommon larva larvas to start bees, but we need the incubator, so we'll worry about that when we get back. Uh, let's empty you whilst we're here. Ah, oh, look at that. Automatically produced mutagens. What more could you ask for? What more could you ask for? Take one of those and take a bottle with us. We've got six seeds. All right. Is there anything else I want to take back there? I don't think so. But what we are going to do on the return trip is we're going to stop off in the lava biome and we're going to grab some obsidian. Um, let's eat you and take you with us. And I think, um, I'll make an extra O2 bottle for the trip. I'm not, <clears throat> not too worried about the water. We'll be good. We'll be fine with that because we can drink now. Not that we're going to find, well, no, actually you do. There is water in the lava biome. They're in the frog pools. So even in there. All right, let's save the game and head back. If nothing crazy happens between now and then, I'll just meet you guys back over at the falls. Let's nab this zeolite. I think those are new too, those water plants. All right, let's load these guys up with eggplant. After doing all of this, we're gonna need to probably set down another fusion uh, generator as well. 
cool. Okay, so as soon as those plants mature, this should start creating fertilizer for us. Nice. I love it. Okay, let's pull... Uh, actually, yeah, let's just pull all of that out of there. We'll keep the sulfur in here, because it'll pull from both the chest and the extractor. <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll take the rest of this ore back with us, but if we end up needing to dump a little bit along the way, then not a big deal. Okay, let's take a drink. And um, we are heading now towards the lava biome, which I... Th is that going to be our first time in there in this season? I don't remember. Could be. We have two oxygens, right? Yes, we do. Okay. We'll, ev <coughs> excuse me. we'll eventually set an extractor down in this biome to get the obsidian. Uh, we'll take an uncommon larva. Sure. Okay, it's in a jank spot. Oh, shit! What the hell? I guess I, I dropped right down on top of that lava. I didn't even notice it, though. It scared the hell out of me, man. <laughs> Ouch! What are you? Uh, you're a rare. We'll pick you up. Um, What were we going to build that needed this stuff? It was... Oh, it was the tier two optimizer. Okay, so we need three, but we're going to bring home more than three. Um, why don't we bring home, say, nine, so that way we can make three of the tier two optimizers for starters. Yeah, that, that startled me, man. <laughs> Stepping in that lava. Of course, it's enough to startle anybody, I suppose. You're a rare larva. <clears throat> okay, we just need to make sure we leave enough room for nine. Okay, that's what we have is nine. But hey, what the hell? While we're here, let's just pick up some more. Hey, there's a super. We'll grab that. A couple supers. Um, Nice, actually. Okay. A bunch of them all together. Inventory's full. Honestly, guys, we've got a super abundance of all of these things. We're dumping them out and grabbing the more valuable stuff. Maybe someday in the far off future, I'll come back and pick that stuff up, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> well, it's always possible, right? But not likely. Not likely at all. Okay, inventory's full. Um, we could eat the food now, because we have an abundance of that, and that'll tide us over till we get back to the base. Um, okay, let's go. That is enough, I think, to take care of us. There's a lot of good stuff to loot in this little area here. Um, so we will be coming back here at some point to do that. We can top off our water here at this little frog pond if I can get it to... Uh, there we go. Nice. Okay, we're going to need that. What? Already? I didn't think those guys showed up until... I started setting out the butterfly thingamadoodles. Wow. That is neat. We have butterflies, guys. Butterflies. I like butterflies. Trees. See, now these weren't here before either. How neat. Uh, I think this is the canyon that has the little bunker in it. Uh, yeah, so we'll go investigate that later. Oh, this is cool. 
Yeah, I don't remember any trees at all whatsoever in the Red Desert in Early Access. There were some over by the Stargate, but not over here. Grab an O2 hit. And let's go. One of you guys were telling me in the comments that there's a gold chest here in the canyon. I don't remember if I've seen one in here and if we've looted it or not. So I've kind of just, every time I go through here, I'm kind of, you know, keeping my eyes peeled for it, so to speak. I don't think it's on top of the plateaus because we've already been on top of all of them. See, there's nothing up here. There's something hiding down in the cracks there. Oh. Oh. Okay, no, I don't think I want to go down there. That looks like getting stuck. Yeah, so nothing up on this plateau. Can we get over there? Yep. yep. Nothing over here. Can we make this? Yowzers. Yes, we can. How about that? We've already been all over this one, too. So, if... It's possible that I did grab it. I just don't remember. And if you were to ask me, hey, where's the golden crate in the canyons? I would obviously not know that. Or not for remember it. So if it is in here, it's going to be down below somewhere. We know it's not in that cave, of course. Because we've been in there many times. All right. I think what we need to do is make ourselves an obsidian uh, bin. So let's grab some iron. And how about if we put that bin right here? Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. Alright, let's put our bugs upstairs. You are... Definitely not out of sulfur. You're probably waiting on methane, would be my guess. Oh, no, you're out of bacteria. Okay, let's grab... Normal storm? Yeah. Let's grab the, all of this out of here. We'll put the gas in here. And we'll take the oxygen downstairs. We probably should set up an O2 bin. Because this is going to start accumulating. Yeah, let's put that right here. That bin's not lined up. We want to line it up correctly so everything's nice and symmetrical. There we go. Okay, this is going to be O2. That'll be our staging crate. Maybe it'll be like our staging and drop-off crate. Um, okay, let's go, let's get a drink. And let's run out and grab another load of bacteria for our... Uh, mutagen production. C4 
see how many more it's going to make. Oh, just one more. Okay. Put that in there, and then you should kick in and start making more muties. Huzzah! Look at that. Look at that. Okay, cool. Um... Now, uh, what are we doing? Miscellaneous. Okay, so I've got, let's grab these two oxygen fuse multipliers. And we already have one in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to deconstruct this. And we're going to make a tier two because we can put three fuses in the tier two. So we just need... Uh, three obsidian. Okay, so right now our oxygen... Well, technically I guess I should have checked it before I picked that other one up, but... We can see that it's um, at 10,950 PPQs. All right, now let's see what it's at. It is at 34,079 PPQs. Very nice boost. Yeah, because we boosted it about 1,500%. So basic, yeah. Nice. Okay. So that's... That's moving pretty fast. Moving pretty damn fast. What's coming up next? The teleporter's coming up at 2,500 GTI. A little ways off, but not too much further off. Um, and that's going to also be a, a big game changer for us. Uh, the tier 2 tree spreader will unlock at 6 parts per million. I think that's what that means. So that's a ways off, but we did, like I said, we just gave that a huge boost. We're done with heat, at least for the purposes of unlocking stuff in the blueprints we will still you know we'll still set up heaters and stuff as time goes on for the ti itself but we don't need heat any longer for blueprint purposes which is nice all right the tier three ore extractor that's that's a bit of a ways off but you know what we can do well see pressure fuses have the heat multiplier fuse the Okay, both the drills and the heater generate heat and pressure. We would probably be further ahead. See, that generates 20 PKs of heat. Yeah, that's 2.15 in Ks. I'd rather boost. Okay, so that's that is doing 28.4 in PAs. Somebody told me in the comments that P stands for Pascals. Um, but I still think that we should maybe we should just leave this one heater fuse there. Set up a tier three over here and throw the heater fuse in to get an extra boost of heat out of these guys as well as the pressure. But here's the thing. Um, I don't think we... The only thing we're going to gain by doing that for the moment is extra heat. So I guess it's still worth doing for that reason, if nothing else. Okay, so let's pull the pressure fuse out of here. Plus it'll make it able to support up to eight machines, so we could build three more um, drills. Yeah, that's actually the reason why we should use the tier two. Because then we can build three more drills and, and even boost the pressure further. Okay, so we'll grab you. Um, we need three of you. That should be everything, right? Yep. Okay. 
Uh, just for shits and grins, again, I should have checked it beforehand, but whatever. Uh, pressure currently is at 81,400 and change in PAs. Oh, look at that. We tanked our power. Okay, let's put both of these in there. That should cover all of these drills plus three more once we put them down. Let's go build ourselves another fusion generator because we have uh, we have the quartz, the pulsar quartz for it, thanks to that meteorite that came down. Uh, we need five of these. One, two, three, four, five. And I think it was super, right? Uh, where are you at? Here. Yeah, we need four super. One, two, three, four. Let's do a safe. I'm gonna grab a drink. We'll grab a bite to eat on the way out the back door here. That's really damn close. So close that you probably wouldn't ever be able to tell the difference. I love it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Fall down, go boom. Well, no boom. Unless you count the jetpack as being part of the boom. I was going to move that closer, too. Um, yeah, let's do that while we're here. We couldn't the last time because we had a meteorite come down and block. Block the whole damn thing. Okay, let's go uh, here. And all right, we got another pulsar quartz. You're not gonna land right on my head, are you? Shit! <laughs> it was kind of aiming for me, wasn't it? That's cool. I tried to get a screenshot. I don't know if I got... I don't know if I got it on time. That brought us eight crystals. If I could get to that last one. <laughs> Damn it. Uh... Oh no, there's two more down there. Uh, three. Holy crap. That's even more than the first one brought us. Okay, uh, I can't get to those. And guess what? We can't set the rocket thing down because once again, we have debris in the way. But you know what? I'm not complaining because that's like the best kind of debris there is. The stuff that brings you the pulsar quartz. Can't complain. No siree bob. Um, all right. You know what? Damn it, Jim. This needs to go this direction I'm just gonna set it here and call it good it's not that big a deal it's like you know 30 40 yards further out but with our jetpack who cares at some point you gotta just like you know not be so anal retentive about these things oh shit that we need to be anal retentive about or more like you know respiratory retentive when it comes to oxygen. All right. For those of you who were keeping track, because I completely lost track, um, this is what we're currently doing now with pressure. It's a hell of a lot bigger number than it was before. That's all I got to say. And I'm going to put three more drills down to uh, because that uh, Tier 2 will, will capture up to eight machines. And that's really going to boost our pressure. And it's going to give us a nice little heat boost, too, because we have the heat fuse in there. Whew. Okay. Wow. We got, we got a lot done in this episode, man. Lots of fun. Just super enjoying this game and having fun with it. I love it so much. Uh, but I need to let you guys go here. So I will put those three uh, Tier 4 drills up. Uh, these guys here. Off camera. Get those in place. And then I think... In the next episode, I still, uh, I, th I still think I'm going to pick up these little guys here. I don't think they need to be there anymore. 
Um, in the next episode, what are we going to do? We pr Maybe we'll go do some more exploration and more looting. Because, you know, finding fuses is like one of the most important things to do because it makes such a big difference. But, you know, all the other good stuff too that, you know, that we can find. So I think we'll plan tentatively, unless something changes, we'll plan on an, an exploration episode in the next one. And a looting episode. With that being said, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.